My name is Adam Byrne. I'm the Techno Service Manager for Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana. I'm here with Hannah Hart, the Precision Ag Field Specialist intern that worked in Michigan this summer. So Hannah, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you did this summer? Yeah, so I was the Field Specialist and intern covering the entire west side of the state of Michigan. Um, I was responsible for over 378 traps, so it was a great great summer of learning for sure. Um, yeah, I worked with a lot of growers, retailers. It was awesome. Cool. So t what's what's special about these traps? Tell me a little bit of how these traps work. Yeah, so these, these are different than conventional traps. Um, we have our node up here that is solar powered um, and lasts for over two years. So that's really awesome. It takes a picture directly down the same time every day um, of the liner that's inside. And it's, it's counting um, for myself. We had these a lot in Apple, so it was counting coddling moth. And then we have a trained AI that is filtering out the bycatch. So it's giving us um, counts of our coddling moth. Great. So, so for coddling moth, it's obviously important for them to get these trap catches. So how does a grower or retailer get that information? So FMC has our own app called Arc Farm Intelligence that this data is going directly to. So the user, whoever that may be, has this downloaded on their phone and the picture is being sent every single day as, long, um, as well as graphs are being prepared and numbers are laid out to show and display those numbers. And it makes it really easy compared to having to come out into the field every day, um, which would be ideal. And that even was probably more weekly when we had tr um, only conventional traps. Very cool. Are there any other things in the app that were uh, kind of useful to the grower in addition to just getting the trap catches daily? Yeah, so there was a heat map that was displayed, um, which kind of showed the pest pressure over the state of Michigan, as well as de a degree day model, which made it really easy to establish biofix and then track track the degree days from there. Having that real time information is really important. And for coddling moth control, that timing is, is critical because the, you know weather conditions can fluctuate year to year and you wanna get those, those insecticides timed to when those eggs are hatching or just before they hatch. So FMC has a product, Altacor Evo Insect Control, which is a diamide, a group 28 insecticide, which is really well adapted and well adopted, I should say, in the uh, fruit market. And, but getting it on, it's an ovicidal larvicidal product. So getting it on at the right time so that when the larvae hatch and feed on the corian or that eggshell, and then move on and feed a little bit on tissue before they actually burrow into the fruit is, is essential. So Altacor Evo, we recommend um, about a 1.8 fluid ounce rate for, for apples in Michigan. And uh, growers might be familiar with Altacor insect control that was available previously, but this is a more concentrated, low uh, volume use rate. Um, so we're really excited to have Altacor Evo in the market and uh, it's gonna be really beneficial and partnered with these traps and the data that these generate is gonna be really valuable. How does somebody who's interested in using these find out more about them? Yeah, so if you're a grower, um, we encourage you to contact um, your local retailer and they can get you set up, or if you are a retailer or even grower, to get in contact with your local FMC rep and we will get you all set up with our new traps. Awesome, thank you, Hannah. Yep, thank you.